All right, guys. So the next thing I wanted to cover was adding the co-op AI to Team Deathmatch and Capture the Flag, as well as adding it to Conquest because you're going to need to, I believe, when you do it with this method because it actually breaks regular co-op. Um, plus, you might also grab all the goobers that won't play co-op, but I'd play Conquest if it had bots on it. So there is actually one thing you're going to need to do on top of your regular sort of modding process, and that's unpack a copy of your game.rfa file, uh, which I believe if we just go to my game install, so your EA games, 1942, mods, 1942, archives, bf1942, game.rfa. So grab a copy of that, plonk it in a, you know, a folder called game.fa and wherever you're modding, um, unpack it, and there's two files you're going to want to look at. So these two you're going to need, I believe. I'm not so sure about those. We'll get back to that. I haven't actually done this process in a little while. I more or less had to hodgepodge grab a copy of it off my uh, an old version of Windows, and then I also had problems with some of the maps not working server side that I've now fixed. So I can't 100% remember this process, but basically we'll leave that there. We'll open up, I've got an original copy of Helen Dawn here. So so when you first unpack the map, you've got something that looks exactly like this. Yet in mine, I've actually got what looks like this. So We just go grab a copy of this, paste it here. So I'll basically work it through as though as like you guys. So I want to work on Helen Dawn. So looking at these, I can pretty much delete everything except for AI Conquest CTF TDM. AI, Conquest, CTF, TDM. So we'll fuck all that off. I'm left with this. Now, Now this is the original Helen Dawn. This is, you know, my modded one. And I basically had to figure out this with a lot of trial and error based off a guide that was half in German, half in English, and only two thirds finished. So I've got... this all here but it's all actually inside another folder here so if I grab these copy, oh well cut put another oops, put another folder called AI here paste these inside there I believe they're all the exact same yeah oh no that's right what I want to do Delete these original ones. Go back to the game.rfa and grab these four that are in in your game unpack game RFA. So copy them, paste them into this new AI AI subfolder. Go back a level, go back a level here, grab AI behaviors and AI default paste them in here so we'll need all this later on because the AI is going to function a little bit differently to how it normally does in co-op so establishing all that AI is all sorted for now okay go to the AI file itself open that up and put AI run AI default and run AI behaviors con copy that and well, you won't have to copy that. You're just going to have to manually type it, but I'll copy that and I'll paste that over here. Um, I did have to manually, well, I basically copied it off the internet, but, you know, basically save that there. And now when you run a map, um, that's going to run in any of the game modes. So opening up Conquest now. Now these are the original copies and this is my adjusted copy. Now there's a fair bit more to this. So 
first off, I've got run AI, the ARG one. So we'll copy that, paste that over here. This next step, it's gonna be quite a bit of typing unless you can more or less find a list of this on the web. And all these are actually all your 1942 uh, vehicles and all your weapons, hand weapons, um, as well as the kits that are going to be running in the map that the AI are going to need. Because if this isn't in there, the AI can't see it. The AI is going to shit itself and spook out. So basically, I'm lucky enough that I've already done all this. I can just copy and paste, basically. But more or less what you're going to have to do is... If you've already, we'll go back to, where is it? Where is it? It's frustrating when you've had to make this video three or four times just to get fairly simple, what should be a fairly simple process across. Um, x pack two objects is one, and 1942 objects is another. Because this is a, uh, a secret weapons map, I've had to unpack both. But for vanilla maps, you're only going to have to unpack 1942 objects. So open it up and you actually get all your list of hand weapons which is important as well as all your list of different air sea blah 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 vehicles so truth be told i believe this line here this third line is the one that actually lets jetpacks not cause a server to crash if you've got ai on the map as well so for base 1942, I don't believe you need this third line. You only need base kit and common. It's just that objectsmod.com is for the AI to tolerate players being in jetpacks. So I believe it's included in normal co-op. It's just that when you're trying to do a co-op conversion for Conquest, TDM, and Capture the Flag, you need this. So you need that line there. But otherwise, I believe with vanilla 1942, you don't actually need that line. So that just basically tells the game that the AI will use these kits, use these objects. And these are the actual kits and objects. So you've got your hand weapons, and then you've got, say, objects, hand weapons. We've got Bren, Commando Knife, Colt. Anything that's not in this list that's here is in the 1942 version of this. So objects, hand weapons, and it's all written out there. Um, and you know med pack and repair pack are important ones to have in there in fact i believe uh from memory 1942 bots actually repair vehicles unless that's in normal co-op but yeah either way you can get that all working um in this just by that and then you've also got to do all your vehicles that you've got on the map as well so this can be quite easy to tell what you need to have in here because um, you might also be adjusting your object spawns and your object spawn templates. So that makes that quite easy to narrow down what you actually need in here. You don't need to list every single vehicle and every single weapon in the game. You need to list every single vehicle and every single weapon that are going to be active on the map. So it's a bit hard typing this out for the first time. But then once you've got one line worth, you can just copy and paste and then just adjust it. And you just need, you know, basically that same folder structure the whole way down. Same with vehicles. And then just be careful that when you get to air vehicles, you put air, C vehicles, you put C, etc. So you've more or less got to do that across all three um, modes here. So if I open up, close that, open up Conquer, uh, capture the flag, capture the flag. As you can see, there's some other lines up here that aren't in the Conquest versions. For instance, it's a little bit different, but ultimately I've had to make the same additions to the ends of it. So we go back to the, the original capture the flag. It's actually only quite a short text throw this open alongside it and I've had to add AI V A R G so one there and then on top of that everything below the actual create flag bases same thing the exact same list of weapons 
vehicles and stationary weapons. I can just copy and paste that there. In fact, did I do that for my conquest version? Got that there. Yeah, I've got all that there. And then the last thing I've got left to do is TDM. Obviously, because I've already done a version of this, it makes it easy to actually see for sure. But basically, just add that above the object spawns for TDM now. TDM is going to be the shortest in the list because there's not really anything in the way of special flags or anything. And then you just copy all this and chuck it over. And now you're basically done in terms of having AI done for the map. So the important thing is we'll sort of go over that from scratch again. Um, open up modering. So what I needed to have here was my game RFA unpacked. Um, as well as my objects RFAs unpacked for the mods, for the, for the base game and whatever mod is possibly running as well, because it's Hell and Dawn, it's uh, X Pack 2, Secret Weapons. So go back and we'll go game RFA again. When you unpack the map, uh, have I got a original Hell and Dawn? Yeah, I do. You know, when you first unpack the map, again, AI is going to sort of need to be rebuilt. So basically, I went through this at the beginning of the video, but AI behaviors and AI default, you just grab them straight out of your game RFA. And then in the game RFA AI subfolder, it's got a different set of these files to what's on the map. So you can del you delete these, put a new AI folder inside the existing AI folder, and grab these copies from game RFA and paste them in here. And then you go through and you make all the changes to AI. So you just really need to add that. And that's pretty much it there for AI itself. But then for conquest, you've got to add run AI VARG1 as well as add all your item, you know, your object classes basically for each of the game modes that you're looking to do it for. And then on top of that, I did want to adjust some of the object spawns and object spawn templates, like a, you know, like a regular map. So say Natter and Goblin, I've got set to spawn two Natters, three Goblins. There's very little delay. They spawn on both teams, blah, blah, blah. Jetpacks still spawn and I've actually tripled the number of jetpacks that spawn at each of those points. And because I added, where was it? Because I added that third line there, that should stop any problems with the AI shitting itself on the map crashing when you go to pick the jetpack up or when any other player does on the map when you're playing this. So guys, that should pretty much cover getting, uh, Co-op AI to work in Conquest, Capture the Flag, and TDM uh, without really any problems, and having it work uh, completely server-side without having to manipulate the AI beyond that. Because I know with some maps like um, Stalingrad is actually pretty buggy when you try and do this. And unfortunately, the only method I found to get Stalingrad to work was to adjust some of the spawns and some of the flags and then I ended up breaking something um, to do with you know keeping it server side I must have modded a template name or somewhere something somewhere along the line and ended up shooting myself in the foot but yeah guys that should cover getting AI on the non-AI modes for 1942